Hello! So, I have something exciting to share with you. Yesterday I was in Toronto, and this is where I was. Yeah. I was at the International Makeup Artist Trade Show, which was being held at Heritage Court at the Direct Energy Center on the exhibition grounds. And when I got there, I picked up the program, which basically had, you know, all the information you needed, floor plan, the speaker schedule, um, bios on all of the speakers. Um, I also picked up my press pass, because, well, that's how I do. And, again, we got this bag, which was pretty big, actually. Starting off, I got a um, 12 piece brush set and this is from Royal and Lang Nickel and it's from their Silk series and they asked me to try it out so I'm going to be doing a review on these brushes. Next I found something actually that I was not expecting to find but was super excited to find it and I found it at Crown Brush. Now everybody has been talking about these things and now I know why firsthand. This is the 88 um, palette. It's not the shimmer one, that's not the one I wanted. They did have that though too. I believe they also had the foundation palette and maybe the blushes but yeah this is awesome it was fifteen dollars Canadian which is amazing um, I had wanted to get it for a really long time but I really didn't like the idea of paying as much for shipping as I was for the item so I lucked out finding it there so that's really cool and then the other thing that I picked up from Crown Brush were actually kit items I got some disposable mascara wands, disposable lip brushes, and some disposable plastic, um, I don't even know what they're called, uh, spatulas. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I also picked up a few more kit items from a booth that was from Nigel's Beauty Emporium from Hollywood, California, which I thought was awesome that they came all the way up from Hollywood. Um, but they had the stainless steel palettes again for the kit and another spatula, but this one, again, the stainless steel. So, um, yeah. Well, Naked Cosmetics was there. Actually, that is who um, I saw Corin of Encore Makeup. He was doing a demo for them using their pigments and I picked up a stack. Now these truly come in a stack. You can't buy them individually which is kind of annoying but these colors are fantastic so I'm not hating any of them. At least not yet. I haven't used any of them yet. This one is a really bright yellow which I love. Chartreuse of light green, an emerald green, sort of a pink fuchsia color, a very blue toned purple, which is beautiful, and a royal blue, which I think will now be a lot this of fun. was the one thing I definitely knew I would be getting. It's the Ben Nye Grand Lumiere Shadow Palette and it has 12 eyeshadows. They are crazy pigmented and the finish is, I almost want to call it like a pearl finish. Um, some of them are definitely frosty, some of the metallic ones, um, but they're not matte. That'll be the next thing I'm looking in. And also comes a little brush I'll be looking into, but um, I had them swatched, and they are, oh my goodness, just fantastic. Um, I also picked up the liquid set to set makeup, and I picked up the banana powder, which was 
a recommendation from Miss Erin from Scandalous Beauty. And um, yeah, so we trying all of these to see how they work out. Now, the next few things I picked up, um, picked up a staple. I needed more foundation. This is the Makeup Forever HD in 153, which is my sort of fall, winter, spring color when I don't have my tan anymore. <laughs> this is me. And I also wanted to try their elixir, which I heard is pretty cool for um, dry skin, which I need to be on top of because the winter makes my skin nasty. And then I got one of the palettes, which I've been wanting for a really long time. And I actually got, I picked up two more eyeshadows and these two here, which pretty much look the same. But this is 35 and this is 156. Um, I just wanted some nude colors. Um, pretty much, you know, as like a lid color or a base for like a smoky eye and a highlight. And then I have my other colors now, have a home in here. So, and yeah. the last thing that I want to share is my haul from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. Now this line has been ranted and raved about on YouTube by a lot of people. I wasn't intending on picking up any pigments. Um, I don't think they actually had everything there because there were a couple, couple of colors I couldn't find. But I did pick up two. I got a silver which is called Ironic and sort of champagne color, which is called platonic. They're both very shimmery, both, you know, the ability to use in smoky eye, um, highlights, lip gloss, pretty versatile, which is why I got them. And then I got four of the lip tars. I got plum, petty beige, anime, and the clear. Now, the clear, I think, will be great just for sort of really getting to try out the formula, mixing my own sort of custom colors, or just going over top of something already. Anime is insane. This is the brightest neon pink anything I've ever seen in my life. When you put anime next to pageant, the pageant looks pale, like pastel pink, which is pretty crazy since pageants quite bright on its own. Um, I also picked up Plum and Petty Beige because I thought they would be more wearable sort of day-to-day, -day, um, you know, to work or something for more subtle uh, looks. But this one in particular, this is the Petty Beige, I thought it would be great to do a nude lip. The other brown that they have called, or the other light brown that they have is called Uber and I found that it was very gray and while well, I can do black lips and dark lips, gray lips tend to really make me look dead, which is not really what I'm going for. Um, but this one is actually pretty close to my skin tone and it's a lot warmer. It does have a bit of yellow through it, but it's, it's awesome. I'm actually wearing it right now and I've got it on with hmm, MAC lip gloss in Naked Frost. This was a limited edition, I believe, from the Chill collection, but it's just sort of um, like a yellowy champagne, silvery frost color. And, you know, it works as a subtle lip with this crazy darkness around my eyes. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything that I picked up. And yeah if you have any questions about it you know you can leave me a comment you can shoot me a message but as always if you could please rate the video i would appreciate it a lot and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do so to keep up with all of my new videos and until next time take care